Alright, what's up, YouTube people? So I'm on a new act dossier right now. I'll just randomly search some stuff, and uh, yep, and I found this deal here. Yeah, it's a shell shocker. It's a MSI uh, 800 GTS overclocked version. It's a 320 megabyte, 320 bit DDR3. It's on sale right now for 100 bucks, and. Uh, Yep, I'm talking about, you know, people who live in Canada right now. If you live in States, I know you guys get this card for like 80 bucks with like free shipping. I know, I know, you know, stuff in the States is like so freaking cheap. I mean, we people live in Canada just like so sick of this, you know. Stuff is so expensive here, you know. So, but anyway, I mean, for those of you who, who are using a uh, card that is... Uh, let's say um, 8600 GT or 8600 GTS or below who wanted to upgrade to a new card that will give you a significant performance boost you know getting more FPS and don't want to spend a lot of money on the card this is definitely the card to go I would definitely recommend this card though you know yeah but the thing is when you're watching this video you're probably uh, it probably is too late to get this card right now because uh, you know this is a uh, shell shocker so it's pretty much only one day, one day deal so uh, if you're lucky uh, you might get this card if you're not you probably get something else I don't know yeah so uh, yeah alright so uh, now let's just click on the card and uh, talk about some of the spec on the card mm, I'm just gonna go into the spec and uh, now look at the card. Uh, this one, uh, the core clock is uh, is not that higher, you know, compared to my uh, 9600 GT. But the stream processors, it, it got a 96 stream processors, which is uh, more than the 9600 GT I got. Uh, I think the one I have is uh, 64 stream processors, but then yeah, I mean, uh, you get more stream processors that will probably help you to get uh, some extra FPS. And the memory clock, uh, pretty good. The memory size here though, it's uh, 320 megabyte, and uh, that's not a, you know, as good as the the mainstream car right now. Mm, which mostly are uh, 512 megabyte. Uh, yeah, that sh that could be a problem for for you know for some game I guess. But uh, again, look at the memory interface here. It got a 320 bit memory interface. That's uh, that's not bad. I mean, my uh, 9600 GT got only uh, 256 bit. So. Uh, it's more than that, so that should help you to get some extra FPS, I guess. Not really sure, but uh, but I mean, like, I would say this card, uh, 8800 GTS and my uh, 90, my 9600 GT, will pretty much perform very similarly in most of the game these days, you know. Uh, so yeah, definitely this is the way to go if you live in Canada. Uh, one thing you know, I have to mention though is that this this card is quite old actually. It came out like two years ago and it's using the old uh, G80 mem mm, graphic core unlike the new 8800 GT which is using the new uh, G92 graphic core or uh, the 9600 GT which is using the uh, G94 graphic core uh the the reason why you know that we don't want to people don't really want to get the old uh graphic core is that um the old one runs kind of hot you know so you get warmer temperature which means uh you are not going to overclock a lot but uh since this is the overclock version so um yeah i mean if you don't mind you can stay with that I mean, you can still overclock a little bit, I guess. But then again, it's it might you know, when it's a little bit warm, but that shouldn't be an issue. So yeah, um, 
definitely if you get this card well I mean if you are you know going to upgrade again this is a very good choice for you and uh, we are looking at the uh, new egg.ca so yeah see you guys next time peace